Years ago, an impossible test was attempted. A band of average men attempted the impossible. You Greeks are no longer allowed to use gold and foot champions, only silver. And now, the challenge is reignited. The odds are, at some point in your life, you're gonna grow a mustache. You've got mail. What's up, boys, and welcome to the King Eric and Lord Bentner Full Denmark Qualify for the World Cup Foot Champions Qualification Episodia. In this episode, boys, we're going to be looking at the 89 rated, highest rated in FIFA World Cup Qualifying Hero card for Christian Eriksen, a card that he got for the 5-1 victory over Ireland, which sent them through to the World Cup. Now, uh, right off the bat, I wanted to do a Peru qualification Episodia, but there is not a, there's not a Peruvian keeper in the game. There is one listed on Foothead, but apparently he plays in Liga in the in Liga MX in the Mexican League. But for whatever reason, he is not actually in the game. Some people were saying that he was suspended. Some people saying that the contract was rescinded or something like that. But uh, for whatever reason, I wanted to do a Peru qualification Epi and Foot Champs, but was not able to do that because there is no there is no Peruvian keeper in the game. But anyway, boys, we're looking at his 89 rated hero card, 85 shot power, 89 long shots, even 80 finishing. Was thinking about playing him up at striker, 95 stamina. He's got. Uh, 60 strength with which is his lowest rated stat but the dribbling stats are really what set him apart from other midfielders in the game i mean 90 ball control 87 dribbling uh 85 reactions just incredible incredible stats he's got 95 stamina which means he can play the entire game and well into extra time if need be but that is the 89 rated ericsson i figured since we did the foot champs qualifications with iceland uh with greece with a bunch of other uh with a bunch of other nations last year i thought that we would go with something a little bit similar be a little bit easier if we went with gold, even though I don't think it would be very easy for me to qualify with that full uh, gold Danish side, but we decided to make things a little bit more difficult by going with a full silver Danish side. We've got the likes of PewDiePie. We've got Dermacy, who is extinct. He goes for 40,000 coins. I just spent 39,000 coins on a Danish silver left back who plays in uh, in uh, Liga Santander. We've got ourselves Christensen. Unfortunately, I missed the player, the MVP Christensen SPC by like four or five days. Was not able to complete that one. Want to do an epi on the Maguire, uh, the Maguire player of the year i believe it is maybe you guys let me know if you would want to see that and how i could do an epi on mcguire because he does look like he could be a pretty solid super sub up top we've got vibe we've got ourselves a sisto sisto thought that the last episode of fatal was the last time we we're going to use but alas we are reconnecting with our boy sisto in this foot champs qualification epi featuring ericsson now the bench wouldn't be the bench without some pretty notable players for starters we've got this guy Moldvegar. That's very difficult to say. This is the squad, boys. If you guys want to see another full Nations Foot Champs qualification epi, again, the stipulation for this week, uh, for at least for the uh, qualification for the next day and a half, is that you can only qualify with one nation in the squad. So I'm imagining we're coming up against a bunch of Belgian or French or German uh, or possibly even English sides, and definitely Spanish and Italy would be in the mix in there as well. But anyway, boys, if you guys want to see another one of these, smash that like button letting me know that you guys want to see another Foot Champs qualification epi if you guys are new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well instagram and twitter links are there if you guys want to interact with me there but let's get into match number one let's see if we can win our first foot champs qualification match with a full almost full silver danish qualification side and of course we had to go with the danish national kit in my opinion one of the best looking men's national kits uh, in the game and match number one. I'm gonna guess it's French and of course it's French Why wouldn't it be French to be fair? This is probably one of the lighter French sides We could have come up against he has Alessandrini the inform. He's got Mbappe lotion. He's got 90 uh, He's got 90 lone legend Henri strap in your cooler socks boys. It's gonna be a wild ride Sisto, Sisto, come on, boys! Denmark is up one nil. Oh, okay, all right. So I think we we got a little lucky with the French side. What we're coming up against in the first leg, I honestly was not expecting to make it through. What? Like, why? Just... Oh my god! This keeper
goalkeeper's not careful, he's going to be ousted from the squad. And it is also not good to say that. Pressure. Pressure. We do have 12 shots not on target. We are outplaying this guy right now. Finish him. Stop it! 4 3 in the 77! Come on, boys! Let's go! Yo, 5 is just on another level. Beautiful build up play. Sisto to 5 connection OP. Wow, what a roller coaster of emotions. I didn't think we were getting through that. 9.6 revive gets the goal, gets two assists. Sisto gets two goals and an assist. And then Ericsson, I believe, contributes with one and one. 17 shots, 13 on target. 12 shots, 7 on target from Chipotle. That guy was coming at me pretty much how Chipotle dies when you get it spicy. Quick and fast. Match number two, and we're coming up against Gignac Le Big Mac. And a pretty nasty looking, uh, pretty nasty looking French side. So... I mean, uh, it's, it's not a surprise that it's just all French sides that you're going to come across. As a matter of fact, it'd be really refreshing to see something other than French. Rick Alsted, I take back what I said last time. It's a joke. And I don't, can't, can't believe it. This guy's getting frustrated, I can feel it. <laughs> and that is Bentner, and he's on the ball already! And, he's, and brings his team back on track! 2-0, <laughs> the assist from the Lord! Lord Bentner to Christensen! Come on, boys! Bentner feels like the slowest player I've used all year, but he just barrels through the defense, cuts through two defenders, and a beautiful little pass. And. Is it Christensen once again? Christensen. 39th minute goal. Again, the danger here is if it wasn't bad enough already in FIFA, like if, if you're down 2 0, that's like kryptonite. You're down 2 0, you're pretty much guaranteeing that the guy's coming back. Two shots, two on target for both of us. Near even matches outside of the fact that for whatever reason, someone up there, either uh, Zeus or freaking Thor or Ragnarok. I'm gonna get a little bit rough with you. Okay? Ah! Oh, what is that saying? Oh, Jesus! One does not simply foul the Lord and get helped up. The ho ho ho! Lord Bender and your boy are about to get into a fight! And we're just gonna do a little low. A little low right. A little low Bender right and it scores. goes in! Costil should have saved that. 3 0. How has he not actually saved that? Bender I don't scores. understand. He's got a glitched card. Of course it's gonna go off his freaking elbow. Where it 
starts. Oh, as this part starts. Does it start here? Do the horrible ghost not hear? Yeah. And it's done. saves. Christian Eriksen with the little fake shot. Defender has no idea what to do with it. A little deflection. Well, not a deflection, but go goes, off the, uh, goes off the keeper's hand. 4-1 in match number two, boys. And the Great Danes are sailing. William, contact. Kante short! Kante finds a way! We've got a nice cushion, we've got a nice cushion, but 4-2 is still a little bit scary. Let's go! In a million years, if you had told me that we were gonna win the first match after being down 3-1, I would have said no way. If you would have told me in match number two, oh yeah, you're gonna come up against another beastly French side, and guess what? You're gonna win that one 5-2. Get out of town. Match number two is in the books and we get another victory. We are rolling with the Danish side and I don't want to get negative, but I feel like the collapse might be coming. Sisto, uh, no goals, but, and no assists. Wow, Sisto didn't, okay, so Christian Eriksen got two goals. Um, Christensen got two goals and then Eriksen with an assist and then Christensen with two goals, so, uh, with two assists as well. So Christensen, I think, deserves man of the match. Bettner, a special little, a uh, special shout out for that assist to put us up 2-0. Um, and then the defense actually held on pretty decently. So, um, through, uh, through two matches, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty impressed with the silver side. Like I said, uh, Dermacy is holding his own. The only thing that I worry about is Ousted. At one, one of these games, Ousted is going to get exposed for what he is, and that's a 73 rated silver. Um, I just don't see him holding on that long. Let's get into the third match. Let's see if we can manage to pull off some sort of miracle win in match number three. And a full English side! Come on! That is what I am talking about! And, uh, yeah, that's, I mean, it's not the most imposing side, but it's certainly, if you're, if you're considering the fact that I'm running with silvers, um, Hendo, Ali, Keen, Smalling, Walker, and I think I saw Hart in that. Um, it is, we st we are, we're still gonna have our work cut out for us. of destiny. Denmark vibes all freaking day. Frankie froze my phone with your sausage greasy fingers! <laughs> oh my god, it's happening. I'm just gonna stay middle. Go middle, dude. Si cuelga en el bar contra el balón es bueno. Jorgensen abre peligro. Gol Eriksen. Gol de Dinamarca Eriksen. Fenomenal el contraataque que ha llevado a cabo. Wow, 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 
wow, wow, what a screamer, what a screamer. All right, I can feel it. I can feel the boys just have a, just a little bit left. That's gonna be tough. Oh, wow, Alstead, what a save. It deflected off someone, and then Christian Eriksen with the volley of dreams, 4-3. Here's Sterling. That's nice, Raheem Sterling. What a fantastic moment. Lars Müller, the beer Lars Müller. Yes! Stop it! Stop! Stop, 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 FIFA! I I can't, 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 I can't. I can't do this. We are going to the foot champs qualification final with a full Danish side. Let me repeat that. With a full silver Danish side. Three goals from the king. We get two assists from Ericsson, an assist from the Lord, and then assist, of course, from Sisto. Let's get into the final. Let's see if we can do the impossible. 21 shots, 16 on target with almost a full silver Danish side. 3-4, 5-2, and 5-4. We have scored 14 goals with almost a full Danish silver side. Can we, can we do it one more time? Can we do it in the final? Can we make it through with the Danish boys? We've come up against France, we've come up against England, and we are finally facing off versus a full Brazilian side featuring Firmino, Jesus, and William. Come on, boys. by like 10 years this one june 23rd dude these are if i had those mises if i had these mises kid cells i'd probably die would react but i'm just i'm just kind of stunned that we've scored 18 goals why does it feel like foot champs matches are why does it feel like foot champs qualification matches are 10 times longer than any other game like in fifa vibe in the chippy vibe he used the Danish force on him, and now he's getting... And this is when it happens. What kind of force he... Excuse me? Go middle, bro! Come on. Erickson. Oh, come on! Referee, blow the whistle! 90th minute, we should have this! for Sisto gets a goal. The trio, Vibe, Sisto, and Ericsson, the trio of Danes, manages to get the hat trick. We also get the hat trick between Billing, Ericsson, Vibe, uh, the assist hat trick, boys. But we managed to qualify for Weekend League with a full silver Danish side. Managed to score about 20, just about 20 goals. I think we might have even scored more. Special shout out to Hero Ericsson, but more importantly, I gotta give a special shout out to uh, Sisto and uh, Sisto and Vibe, the unlikely strike force duo that managed to tear it up against some pretty incredible squads. Two full French sides, uh, a full pretty uh, pretty beastly full English side, and then in the last and the final, a full Brazilian side. But boys, that is going to be the full Danish foot champions qualification episode. If you guys did enjoy, hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. Let me know what other full nationality I could do this with. Um, in terms of the big nations, I think, 
it's kind of fun doing like one really good player in Hero Erickson surrounded by silvers, but if we were to do a Peru, which we can't, because there is not, there's no Peruvian keeper in the game, um, I think it'd be more fun to do like, however, the best like Peruvian squad that you can put together. But anyway, boys, you guys let me know in the comment section below. I will see you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, boys. Tschüss. Later. Ade.